Hello beautiful and welcome to today's video. In today's video, I am going to talk about all my eyeshadow palettes and I am finally gonna make the eyeshadow palette tag too. I am very excited to talk about this. I did the tag one a while back. I'm gonna link it up here so you can go ahead and see that. But I'm excited to try the, the second one. As if you don't know by now, Ali Glein and um, Samantha March were the ones that created both one and two. And uh, we are going to answer these 13 questions. I mean, I think they're 11 now. They're only 11. I'm not sure. But let's go ahead and proceed. By the way, if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Cosmina, and on this channel, I play with makeup. I show you a bunch of makeup. Uh, I show you what I'm receiving gratis. I also show you what we get in certain mystery boxes that I am also interested in because I love mystery, and I love to see what certain brands put in their mystery boxes. But if you feel like that's something that may be something that you would like to see in the future, I would appreciate if you would find, uh, if you would press that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. All right, now let's go and answer the first question. And this first question was very, very hard for me to answer because I... I don't usually, I, I never thought about like what is the best eyeshadow palette in my collection. I never thought which one is the best, like which one is my favorite. It is a hard question, but I did came up with an answer. Um, keep in mind this answer may change. <laughs> if you ask me maybe in a week or two, I might say something different. I don't know, but I would have to say one that I feel like it's an all-time favorite because of the formula, because of the color story, because of the collab that was with, because of how much I like this show, because of all that combined together, I decided to go with this eyeshadow palette, which is this one. This is the Star Wars Mandalorian eyeshadow palette from Colourpop. I love, love the colors in here. They are just absolutely uh, beautiful and I love to play with this eyeshadow palette. I am a lover of green eyeshadow palette. It's just, mm, I feel like this is... Uh, Everybody that loves a green eyeshadow palette art, it's gonna just be crazy about this, this eyeshadow. So this is the palette that I decided to put as my all-time favorite eyeshadow palette. Now for a new favorite eyeshadow palette, and for this one, I, I, I'll be honest, I am just so surprised, so surprised that... Um, I'm loving this eyeshadow palette this much. I, when I purchased it, I didn't know what to expect. And this is the Saga of Freya Cat's Bread Palette from Odin's Eye. I just, this, this color story, it is so beautiful and it looks amazing on the eyes. Every time I worn this eyeshadow palette, I got numerous compliments at work from my coworkers, from people that just, from clients, from everybody. Everybody was just asking me, what is it that I'm wearing on my eyes? Because it's just looking so rich, so pretty, so beautiful. And this eyeshadow palette did all that for me. And not only that, but it lasted for a whole 12 hour day without moving a little bit. So I am really loving this eyeshadow palette. And the color story is absolutely gorgeous. I just love it. I love this. 
and this is really cheap too. I think I only paid $26 and also it comes with a brush. I don't know what a brush is right now, but it comes with a brush as well. Insane, insane how beautiful this is. Next one, we have a palette that I keep for the memories. Um, It is hard because it's just, I don't necessarily have a lot of things that I keep for the memories, but I was thinking there's two that I have in my collection that I could answer with, but I decided to go with this one instead. And this one, it is Sailor Moon X ColourPop, and I keep this one mostly because it's about Sailor Moon and Sailor Moon was the show that I always looked up to when I was a teenager. I really loved this show. I just, I was so, so impressed with this show. I, I remember watching it as a kid um, and that's why I'm keeping this eyeshadow palette because a lot of these uh, colors don't necessarily work with my skin tone. The only colors that I do use are the ones at the bottom and these these two right here. That is it. But all the other ones I don't usually go into because they're just like not showing up on my skin that much. So I would say this, this is the one that I keep for the memories. Now for an underrated eyeshadow palette, huh, this was kind of difficult to answer as well because I feel like there's just so many eyeshadow palettes that are being really raved about out there and in my opinion they don't deserve the, ra the, 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 the craziness about them. But I decided to go with, with the Mario palette. So this is a quad from Makeup by Mario. And this one, it is in Rosy Glam. And this is how this one looks like. This is beautiful. But I feel like none of his quads are being talked about. And the quality on his quads are just out of this world. They're so so beautiful and pigmented and there's always a shade that looks like it's wet and look at this one look how pretty that is just beautiful also this one they're just such beautiful and buttery shades I nobody talks about them like what the heck why nobody talking about these these are just a beautiful and I remember when I played with this one for the first time I was so so shocked how beautiful the formula was and um it's still it's still one of like the ones that just keep shocking me every time I use it so this would be one that I would say it's underrated in my opinion now favorite collab this eyeshadow palette it was absolutely left me with my mouth open when I purchased it at the time um, and Mel was still alive at the time, so you already know which one it is. It's the Tiny Marvel Mel Thompson and Sydney Grace eyeshadow palette. And I remember talking about it back then that I just can't believe how beautiful it is. The shades in here are absolutely gorgeous. Just, just gorgeous. And uh, it's just, just so amazing. This eyeshadow palette, it is absolutely amazing. And none of the collaborations that I've tried so far was able to uh, perform better than this one. This was, it's just amazing eyeshadow palette. And it is kind of like a little bit of a memory for me too, because I feel like I got something that um, Mel in a way touched, you know what I mean? And uh, it's important for me because she was she was an amazing person and she was an amazing YouTuber and I feel like I felt so sad when unfortunately she passed away last year. Um, 2021 favorite. Now this eyeshadow palette, I was not expected to have it as a 2021 favorite. I will be honest, I was not. And this is the Natasha Denona bronze palette. I received this one in the Beautylish Lucky bag and when I started playing with this one, 
I really, really love it. I really enjoy how these rich colors are looking on my skin tones. And I was able to create some beautiful, beautiful looks with this one. I would have to say this, this is just beautiful. If you want rich, warm, chocolatey brown looks this is the best eyeshadow palette that is out there i still have a little bit of of a pickle to to pick with with natasha about her shimmers and the way they crumble uh but still it, this is a beautiful eyeshadow palette one that i didn't expect to love now this eyeshadow palette I didn't expect to love from this brand because I tried something different from this brand a while back that I did not like. I just did not like the formula on that eyeshadow palette. And that is Nabla. So I tried previously, I tried this secret eyeshadow palette that I don't like. I don't like the formula in this one. The colors are okay, but the formula never ever looked that great on me but the one that i just recently well, more in the recent months i received from trend moon's uh box which was a mystery box is this side by side one and it's so beautiful i was so shocked i was so shocked how beautiful and how buttery these eyeshadows are on my skin and how beautiful they look I was just so impressed with this one. I was really not expecting to love this one. And I did. I did. This is such an amazing eyeshadow palette. Okay, an eyeshadow palette that sparks joy. Always, that will always spark joy, I think, is going to be the Pat McGrath eyeshadow palette. Not only this eyeshadow palette i've been contemplating more than a year if i want to purchase it or not i did wear it on my wedding day and this is how this one looks like it's beautiful the colors are gorgeous um definitely she could have used something like more because i feel like there's so many pinks in here she could have put more variety in here but nevertheless this is a beautiful eyeshadow palette beautiful formula and it will always spark joy. Now an eyeshadow palette that I can't get rid of. One that I, it's not a favorite, but I can't get rid of. That it is this one right here. It's definitely not a favorite. I really, really don't like how this eyeshadow palette blends on my eyes. This is the Pure Wit Raw beauty christie eyeshadow palette and it's just not it it's just not it honestly this is not it uh but i cannot let it go just yet i feel like i need to play with it more i feel like i haven't got my money's worth from it and i feel like i need just i just need to get more use out of it before i let it go but this is how this one looks like now the newest eyeshadow palette that i have in my collection it is this one so this one is kaleidos uh eyeshadow palette it doesn't say which one but it's one of the newest ones that they came up with the quads and this one is beautiful i tried it once i really did enjoy it i am going to play with this one a little bit more but also the packaging looks beautiful as well and the last one the first eyeshadow palette that i used in 2022 this one was hard to pinpoint but i remember i remember using this eyeshadow palette somewhere at the beginning of the year i'm not sure if it was the first but this i definitely used it at the beginning of the year and this is the um huda beauty rose gold palette remastered and this is how this one looks like which is beautiful has a lot of beautiful shades in there if you love pink this is definitely the one to go but also it has a lot of golds in there as well so with that completes all the questions that this tag has i am uh, happy uh, to be able to participate in this one so go ahead and uh, if you are a content creator 
consider yourself tagged go ahead and do this as well let me know i want to go i want to come and see what you're answering i have been watching so many already and i really enjoy this tag thank you so much for being here thank you so much for watching this and i cannot wait to see you all next time bye now